Okay, hi guys, C.I. Hayden here again. Um, I promised you I was going to give you a quick look at our at the debris hut we've built up up in the bush. Um, it's called a wiki up. I'm just going to turn the camera around and give you a look so you don't have to spend all your time looking at me. Okay, so there has been a big windstorm came through since last time we were here. Um, we got lucky. It did take out one side of the entrance we had built. Um, so there used to be, we had this part here all covered in with cattails. We had those all woven in. And then as you can see on the shelter to insulate it, we have used cattails, moss, um, grass, bark. So the reason that there isn't a whole lot of leaves on this is because this is more of a boreal forest. It has a lot more uh, spruce trees, but nothing really low enough to use for proper boughs. When we first built it, we did actually use spruce boughs in the winter. The first time we came up here and made this, we uh, it was minus 20 that night. So we went and made it up and we uh, slept in it that night actually. So one thing about this shelter, we'll just go inside here, make sure no animals have decided to use it. So we made uh, cattail mats to sleep in. I'll just roll this up real quick so you can see. So we could, we've made cattail mats to sleep on. Um, build a rock fireplace inside so we could have a fire in here keeping us warm. Uh, we wrapped it in plastic initially and then we put all our insulation on. Um, one thing about a natural shelter, if you're going to keep coming back to it, you're going to have to always be tweaking it. As you can see, we've got some holes in here. We did leave the top open to let smoke out. And if you can see right there, that little bit of string, that's actually really all we used that was non-natural to hold it together. And then we wove some baler twine around it so we could weave the, uh, so we could weave supports in and then we'd have a good setup to put our insulation up. So we also, when you look at the size of that, that's actually big enough for four of us to sleep in there with a fire inside it. Kind of breaking one of those rules of a survival shelter by yourself, make it small enough that it's just for you. You don't have a bunch of extra space, but because we were all coming up here, that's how we decided to build it was rather than everybody build their own shelter we built a joint shelter so it took a lot less resources and everybody could work together on one